Hello friends, welcome to my channel Growing Up With You wherein today we are going to make a project on weather and we'll be having young weather reporters at our home. So let's get started with this exciting activity.
So now let's have a word about the snow cloud and the rain cloud. So in the cold countries, we can have a snowfall like this, where it's quite cold starting from the cloud up to the ground. But sometimes if there is warm air in between. So I have made these four sticks, which is going to denote layer of warm air. So now if there is a warm air like this, then we are going to get what we call it as sleeting. It starts with the snowflake, but due to the warm air, it melts into the raindrops and over here, it's again cold. So the raindrop will freeze into the ice pellets or the sleet and we get what we called as sleeting. If the width of the warm air increases like this, then we will get the freezing rain. So what happens over here? It will again start with the snowflakes because of the warm air the snowflake is going to melt into the raindrops but here at the ground level it's quite cold so these raindrops when they come in contact with something cold let it be the fence let it be the rooftop the roads or the wires in this case it's the log of wood so it will form a cast around it and so this is called as the freezing rain if the width of the warm air still increases up to the ground we get rain so it will start with the snowflakes but due to this warm air up to the ground the snowflake is going to melt and then we will get the rain so this was with the snow cloud now let's see the rain cloud now with the rain clouds if it starts raining and there's only showers of rain then a child will hang only one or two strings of the raindrops but if it starts raining very heavily then he can increase it accordingly so here it is this is the rain cloud but now if it starts with the thunder and the lightning then we are going to put in this that there's a thunderstorm over here but now what is that noise it's raining with the hailstones so let's pull out one two strings over here and we are going to put the hailstone string now let's tell a child how the hailstones are formed so when there is thunderstorm there is strong winds and they flow like this in the upward direction so what happens they take some raindrops into the cloud as you all can see over here there is a raindrop over here there is a raindrop over here so it is taking it into the upper part of the cloud and you can imagine the cloud as a refrigerator where the upper part is the freezer compartment so anything going into the freezer compartment is going to freeze so these raindrops they freeze and they fall a small hailstone but the hailstone wants to come down but because the winds are so strong and powerful it pushes it back up into the cloud and when it goes up it takes some more raindrops along with it and so its size increases again it tries to come down but then again he is pushed back up so this goes for quite a few cycles Till it is big enough for the cloud where the cloud says now I can't hold you you have to go to the ground and that's why we see the hailstones so when you if you cut open a hailstone you can see the rings just like you use uh, when you cut a tree you see the rings which will define its age the same thing applies over here the hailstones also you see the rings which will tell you how many times it has gone up and down how many cycles it has gone through before coming to the ground so this was a story about the hailstones when you're using this activity at home you can either use a cup like this make a slit and then put in our uh, weather elements into that or uh, i have made i have taken this mason jar and uh, i have wrapped it up with the uh, jute thread decorated it filled it up with some stones and then i have put a cardboard and there i have made two slits so when i have to show that it's partly cloudy then i can put in this 
sun and then I can put in the small cloud. Uh, so in this way I can show that partly cloudy weather. So friends let's see how a child is going to tell us about the weather. So friends do let me know as to how you found this activity in the comment box below. If you like the video give me a thumbs up and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such educational videos. Till then this is Amrapali signing off. Happy weather and happy growing up with your loved ones.